ON17, P41, question 9. Hmm. In the previous video, we looked at how you can use a CT scan to shine here, shine there, all your x-ray, and figure out what is the pixel number of each voxel in the human body. Okay, and now we're going to see what kind of pass here can be asked. So this is only on part B. I'm going to jump to part B. And we're going to see how they can do this. So a student creates a model for CT scan. Section is divided into four voxels, four boxes. And the pixel number, we don't know. We just call it A, B, C, D. So we have to be the computer and figure out what is A, B, C, D, right? So we see the section is viewed from four different directions. V, 1, 2, 3, 4, as shown above. That will be... This one, no? So you look from the side, from down here, bottom, and a diagonal on the left. The detector reading for each direction are noted and summed. So this one, this diagram here, is already add up all the direction, all add together already, all the numbers, all the detector readings. And this is the result. Now what do they want? The background count is 26. Determine the pixel number, the original pixel number of A, B, C, and D. Well, you got to remember how does the computer process this data? This is already your sum of readings, all the detector reading added together from each direction. The first step you need to do is to subtract the background. So I'm going to write that down. Step one, subtract background. This is if you already have the sum value, which is this box. Oh. So what's the background? Ah, ah background count is 26. So we need to minus 26. Uh, from each box. Well, might as well draw a box. Three marks better shows I'm working, right? To show that I really know what I'm doing. So from each box, minus 26, you gotta press your calculator. You should get... Mm, if you haven't tried this yet, pause the video, try to reach the NC if you can get it. But anyway, if, you, if you've tried it out, you'll find that this is 21, 33, 18, and 6. So minus 26 from each box. Step one. Step two. What you need to do, the final step before you get back your original um, pixels, is to divide by the number of rotations. You have many views, right? What's the number of rotations? Let's check the diagram up there again. So you have... One, two, three, four views. How many rotations? Rotation is from view one, you rotate. This is first rotation. Then rotate second time. Then rotate third time. So in total, three rotations between the four views. One, two, three. Okay, so we will divide by three, by the number of rotations. Let's go down and see that. Okay, almost there. So divide by number of rotations, divide by 3, and this is for each box. Okay, every single box divided by 3. So let's start with the first one. 21 divided by 3, you get 7. 33 divided by 3, you get 11. 18 divided by 3, 6. Last one, 6 only. Ah, yeah, 6 divided by 3, 2. Hey, what am I writing? 2. There we go. 7, 6, 11, 2. Okay, that's 3 marks already, just doing this. Wow, miss so like this one, make so easy. Ah. If you know what to do, it's easy. But if you don't know what to do, you'll be very confused. What is going on here? So make sure if you haven't, go check out the theory video and make sure you understand the puzzle and what the computer is doing. So the 3 marks, the first one comes if they see that you have evidence of doing a subtraction of 26. So they want to look for some evidence. Lah. Maybe you write some working here, minus 26, or even better, list out the working fully, like this one here, okay? That one is the best way. Then, the second one is, if you divide by 3, or show evidence that you divided by 3, make sure your evidence is as clear as possible, that's your second mark. The final one is an A1 mark, if all four pixel number, uh, pixels are correct. 7, 6, 11, 2. So what that means is, Ah, we can know the original is 7, 6, 11, 2. Because we have worked backwards and we know this, oh, this is 7. What's this one? 6, 11, 2. Wow, this one's so low on here. Must be something really hard like bone or something like that. The number is very low. Anyway, so that's how you can practice on this voxel and pixel kind of question.
to reconstruct and find the original pixel number of that um, section of bone or body or whatever that is. Alright, so that's all for this example. Nice, short and sweet. I think. Alright, so I'll see you in the next example or the next section. If there's any more examples, because I think that's all for CT scan. Make sure you know the facts of x-rays and CT scans, how they work and how to process the image such as the one here. That's all. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.